welcome back. This video is gonna be really informal because I just went to Goodwill this morning, spur of the moment, and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna post a video. I am currently 40 weeks pregnant and three days overdue. So yeah, I'm trying to just kind of find things to do, keep myself somewhat busy. Although I have, you know, been a lot less busy since Christmas and I'm thankful for it, but same time, it gets old just sitting at home a lot too. So I've been going out and doing some things and I've been visiting family and whatever, but this morning I went to Goodwill and I also went a few other times, I think. So it's gonna be a collective haul, but I thought I would just put in some footage of me shopping in the store. I know some of you guys like that, uh, just kind of like shopping along with me. I just had my phone with me, so it's not like the best quality ever, but I love sharing what I find when thrifting. And I thought it'd be fun to just throw this video in. And since I am just waiting for a little girl to come, I might as well make a video for you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that footage in right now. they were my size. <laughs> enjoyed seeing the footage and I will go ahead and show you what all I have found and I feel like right now is a really good time to be thrifting a lot of people are decluttering stuff so I saw quite a bit of organizational stuff you can tell like there's better stuff there in my opinion like the shelves are even fuller than normal I think I did go to a Goodwill in Bradenton for those of you curious I get questions about where I go. A lot of times I go, I live in Sarasota, but a lot of times I go to the one on Honoré and 17th. But this morning I went to the one up in Bradenton just off of the interstate. So this is where I got most of the stuff. But I did go to the Goodwill like one or two times, you know, here locally as well. So I'll go ahead and show those things as well. First off, let me just show you guys. Look at these pillows. Can you see how big they are? I think they're like a 22 by 22 maybe. These were sitting next to each other. I still need to wash them of course, but they were $5.99 a piece. I don't, I don't see a brand anywhere, but they look really nice and they're neutral. They're kind of cream colored and I always love having pillows like this. So I thought that was a really good find and I also cannot pass up a good basket here and there. And this one probably won't show up, but it's like a hunter green woven one. And this one was $4.99. I just, I don't know, it's not like really big, but it would be great. I don't know, you could use it so many different places. And if I see something 
a little more unique than normal, I am just always tempted to grab them even if I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but this would look great with like a plant in it or maybe in like a, I don't know, a laundry room or something. I'm not sure. I just loved it and I quickly grabbed that. I picked up a couple of organizational things. This is one of those egg holders. Now I've never had one, so honestly I don't know if I'm gonna like using it or not, but I decided I'll try it. It was only 99 cents and everything today was 15% off as well. So, you know, I really didn't spend much. And if I decide I don't want it, it's no, there's not much lost. <laughs> and then they had two different things like this. The one had smaller compartments and I left that one there because I was like, ah, I don't, I'm not really in that stage yet. But I was thinking this is like, you know, kind of the color of the nursery in here. It's showing up a little more pink than what it is in here, but it's like a rose color. Um, so actually I could take it out and I'd have like a separate container, but this would be great for like bows or just like little maybe clips, hair accessories. You could use it for jewelry. You know, there's a lot of different things. I would say I probably wouldn't put any like liquid products in here just because it's like a velvet felt type of thing. So I'll probably just, you know, use it here in the nursery for now, I'm guessing. And this one was $1.99. So I got that. And I saw this bamboo silverware tray for $1.99 there. And I said to get it. I actually don't think I have one of these. So I'm hoping this will work. But it doesn't have to be just for silverware either. Like you could use it in other, like for other utensils or whatever. So I like the, the wood and the bamboo feel to it. So I decided to get that as well. And if I wouldn't happen to use this, I could probably give it to mom and they'd use it over at the house or something. And then while I'm at it, this thing keeps rattling on me. Uh, it's one of these, what is this called? Perplexus. It's like a little ball that you can, it's like a maze, I guess. And the boys had played with it at our friend Dee's house and they kind of liked it. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. Um, this one was like 99 cents, I think. So I just got that one for them. And the boys also bought a few toys when they were there the other day. Caden bought like a little golf set. It was like a plastic one. Nick's like, he needs to get him a real set. <laughs> but anyway, they were using that. And then Jackson got like a little ATV type of thing. I didn't bring that up here with me, but in any case, oh. This is also one that I thrifted, but I think I showed it in my last haul. Let me see if I can tone it down a notch. There we go. Oops, I still don't even have the tags off. But um, anyway, so I think that's going to be it for the home stuff. Nick found, he never goes to Goodwill, but we did go last weekend. And he actually was really happy. He found some olive green shoes. And he's wanted this color for a while. So these are like the new... It's like a new shoe, but it's not like an expensive brand or anything. E Eopia or something. I forget how much they were. Probably 10 or $12, but yeah. He loves shoes. Honestly, you guys, he probably has almost more shoes than I do. <laughs> He's got a lot of like dress brown shoes, different like colors. He's got quite a few different running type shoes or like work related. Uh, he just, he really likes shoes and I like them, but I don't know. I don't like collect them quite as much as he does. I don't feel like, so he can't hold that over me. <laughs> this is just a basic t-shirt that I got today. It's just a navy blue, it's a gap. And I think it was, what is it? $4.99. It's just one of those things where I just want like some staple colors to you know layer or whatever um, and then I did find this one this is kind of a different I don't know it feels a little different for me it's a let's see what is this Ann Taylor okay so and honestly the, sh the sleeves are a little short so it'll probably be like underneath a sweater or something but I thought it actually could be kind of nice for like a dressy a dressier type occasion with maybe a more fitted skirt, you could tuck it in a little bit. 
I can't show anything right now because obviously <laughs> I'm not fitting into regular clothes yet. But this is for post baby is what I'm planning. And then I found a dress the other day. This is just like a comfy one. This is a Land's End striped t-shirt style dress and it's black and white. I just thought it looked comfy, especially if I'm gonna be like at home, you know, for a while and whatever. I just thought, eh, I'm gonna get it. And I'm thinking that one was maybe $6 or something. Two more pieces here and these, You've seen me wear this one. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me wear this. I had gotten this one a while back and I've really been wearing like shirts right now because of the weather and everything. <laughs> After I got it home, I saw that it had a big hole in the sleeve. Apparently uh, they didn't see it either. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's, I could just sew it shut, no big deal. But so far I've just kind of like rolled the sleeves up far enough that you don't really see it. So but I like just the classic black and white plaid. And then I did find this one like a month ago. It's just a basic kimono, black and white. It has like a cute little uh, fringe detailing along the bottom that's again and not showing up. Um, let me see, there. I got that one, but I'm thinking, you know, like for church or something. And a few baby items. I found this one today. I haven't even washed it yet. $1.99 and I love chambray denim stuff. This is just a cute little romper. It is nine months. So I'm really excited to see her in this. Ah, can't wait. Hey, hello. What's going on? I'm filming the Goodwill haul. <laughs> Very good. Very Told good. them about your love of shoes. Honey. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> don't let it out. <laughs> yep, yep, I did, secrets out. Anyway, um, I got this cute little dress. This was not a Goodwill. This one was from like a little consignment store over in Pinecraft. I just randomly stopped in the other day and it's so cute. And once again, it's like a chambray. It's Carter's three months, so I can't wait to wear that on her. And this one is, pretty much a brand new sleeper. Let's see if I can get it to show up here. It's just a cream basic. I don't even know. It's like a zero two baby, but I love the plain sleepers. And this one has a zipper and I don't know. I just like it. It has the things you can use to like cover their hands to not scratch their faces. And yeah, I could tell this one was brand new. There was another one there too, but it looked a little bit more like boyish. So I left that one there. I think I have penguins or something maybe. And then I think I'm getting down to the end. Two shirts for Caden in the future. Um, they're actually, they look bigger than I even remembered, but these are like a medium in boys. But I decided as fast as they go through clothes, I'm just gonna get them. Like they were decent priced, couple dollars. So yeah, got those for him later. So. That pretty much covers, I think, most of what I've found recently. And I don't know how much thrifting I'm gonna be doing here in the next uh, month or two. We'll see, I guess. But anyway, I wanted to share it with you guys and let me know if you have found something really cool recently. And also if you have been decluttering. I know well, I did a declutter here a while ago, if you watched that video, but it's also the time of year that it's good to just kind of like purge and get rid of things so i'm trying to kind of be pretty intentional with what i'm getting enough rambling but be on the lookout for a baby video coming up um soon hopefully <laughs> i don't i'm not exactly sure what day this video is going up yet but i will have a i'm in labor video that goes up once i'm in labor so that way you guys know that you know baby is on the way but you can also follow me on instagram at lynette yoder underscore and I'll probably be on there quite a bit more in the beginning. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Bye.